I'm trying to reach Queens and I only welcome those of love and light, okay guys? And hello everyone, I am Phil. Welcome back. Uh, everybody who gets into the paranormal, they do so usually for one or two reasons. One is to create entertainment, to provide something enjoyable for you to watch. However, there's the other side to this of people who are curious, who they have questions they want answered, and they have curiosities. And that's where I lie, and, and most of you who have been watching me, you know my background, you know my history, you know why I got into this, because of all of the experience that I was having as a child. Most people who are truly doing this, they can go through their entire lives and never really experiencing anything. Maybe an EVP here and there, maybe an orb, but usually that's about it. To truly capture something like what television or many YouTubers will have you believe is actually very, very rare. It's like capturing lightning in a bottle. Last night, I think I captured my lightning. Here we go. And once again, hello everyone, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button and that notification bell, and go ahead and pound that like because it does actually help me out. If you are someone who truly enjoys the paranormal, if you have questions about it, if you have curiosities about it, this is really the place to come, okay? Um, so a while ago, I did a video for Anne Boleyn. Um, I am a fan of Tudor history, and I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I am a fan of it. And uh, Anne, as well as King Henry VIII, were two that I wanted to reach out to, and I did uh, a while ago, about a, bit, about a year or so ago now. In that video for Anne Boleyn, I made a claim that Anne Boleyn and Jane Seymour were cousins. Well, I had a lot of feedback, in fact, I still get a lot of feedback about how, no, they weren't related, they weren't cousins, uh, that the information was false. I want to read something to you. Uh, this is from onthetutortrail.com, and there's other, you can go to history.com as well, and the same information is there. But Anne Say married uh, Sir Henry Wentworth and produced six children, including Margaret Wentworth, mother of Queen Jane Seymour. So Anne and Catherine's parents were half-cousins of Jane's mother, making Anne and Catherine second cousins of Jane Seymour. So there is a family relation there, uh, relation there. And so the session that I did last night, I wanted to do for Anne and for Jane. Um, and I know there are some people who will have some issues with me calling them Anne and Jane. Don't worry, I didn't do it in the session. But uh, as I was setting up, uh, a lot of times, that's when I will say my prayers to Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, so forth and so on, for protection. And as I was sitting up the uh, infrared camera, I captured what I think is my first manifestation. And here is what that looked like. Now, later on in the session, I believe that I captured a second manifestation just right above the, uh, the aura box. And uh, again, I'm not saying that it is, it just, again, it is something that I cannot explain. And this is something that has, this has not happened before, but I have noticed that there has been a slight uptake in activity ever since I, I threw my little fit on my live. So I don't know, again, if it's because of more emotion 
uh, that's coming through or I'm balancing out my, my emotions more in regards to this. I don't know, but there is something that's happening that's causing these things to act up. So I will welcome your opinion as we go through. I'm not saying that it is or is not. I am simply saying that there is something else that has happened that I can't quite explain. Okay, so here's the session. Okay, so I'm using the uh, Phasma Box Odium for this session. Uh, last time I used it was on the Titanic, and uh, felt like I got some pretty good results off of it. So I'm gonna try it again. For this session. on. Uh, this is actually for notes, believe it or not. So I'm going to make sure it's away from the K2. So I don't want there to be any false positives to come in. Okay. Hello, hello, this is Philip. Is anybody here who'd like to speak? <laughs> I'm trying to reach out to Her Majesties Jane Seymour and Anne Boleyn. I heard that. Uh, who was that that just spoke? Can you give me a name, please? I'm trying to reach out to Anne Boleyn, Her Majesty Anne Boleyn, and Her Majesty Jane Seymour, both wives of King Henry VIII. I'm fascinated by you guys. I mean no harm. I come with respect. I am curious about the relationship between Anne Boleyn and Jane Seymour. Free from something. Can you tell me about the relationship between Anne Boleyn and uh, Jane Seymour? I'm under the impression there was something there, something past. I was, I'm under the impression that they were second cousins. Okay, I don't know who that was. I'm here. Was there any animosity between between the queens because of the love affair with, with the king? Your Majesty Jane Seymour, how did you feel about the execution of Anne Boleyn? Many people feel it was unjust. 
Do you have any thoughts about that? remember your time here on Earth. Frequency just changed right there. Your Majesty Boleyn, did you feel betrayed at all by the king because of how he favored Jane? I'm trying to reach Queens and I only welcome those of love and light, okay guys? Okay everybody, so just real quick, I wanted to pause the video right here to simply ask you, did you see it? I'm gonna play it again. If you take a look to the right of my head, right above the aura box, you see what appears to be somewhat of a mist that quickly appears and then dissipates. Now, I'm not saying that this is or is not spirit. What I am saying is that I don't know what it is and that I've never captured anything like this before. My thought has always been that something like this would appear on infrared. Uh, so I'm a little surprised to see something that was just caught on a normal camera. I welcome your opinions, I welcome your thoughts, guys. Uh, and so now, back on to the rest of the video. What does the name Elizabeth Howard mean to you? Or Thomas Howard? <laughs> I hear you. I'm just looking to see if they're okay, if they have moved on. Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, but that's not allowed here. Whatever that was. I welcome Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel to be here during this session to guide and protect this session. So again, this was just to check in with Anne Boleyn and Jane Seymour to confirm their relationship with each other. And frankly, okay, I don't know what that was. Who was that that just spoke? Okay, I don't allow any negativity. I don't allow any anger. All right? I don't allow any mischief or troublemakers here, okay? If you're here, you gotta go. All right. Okay, guys, I wanna thank you for your time. If the queens were here, I wanna thank you both very much. I ask you. Miss, who was the lady who just spoke? Can you tell me? Oh. 
All right, guys. I'm going to ask you all to please return. Little child. Can you me? Hey guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch me to check out this video. And uh, I, I welcome your comments. Uh, again, there are some interesting and massive changes that seem to be taking place right now. I don't know if it's a fleeting thing or if it's permanent or, or what it is. But I do welcome your thoughts. I welcome your opinions. Please put them in the comments section below. And I will just see you all next time. Okay, take care.